Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kirsten and I typically post home and lifestyle videos right here on my channel. And today we are doing a favorites video. I haven't done one of these in such a long time. I usually try to do them quarterly, but it's been several months. So I've been slacking and I figured now is the perfect time to do a monthly favorites. We're not gonna do this sit down style. I'm gonna be walking you around my apartment, showing you everything that I've been loving. Since I do typically vlog weekly, I usually show you guys these things in real time, but I wanted to be able to show you all of my recent finds and favorites all in one place. So that's the purpose of this video. I know I did miss an upload last week and I'm so sorry about that. I was not feeling well. I'm still kind of recovering from a sickness. As you might be able to tell in my voice, I'm a bit congested, but we're getting through it. I'm gonna do my best to get through the video. And let's get right into it. We are starting with home items, furniture, and other essentials, because I know that you all share that passion with me. So getting right to it, the first things I wanna share are my coffee tables. I know you all saw me bring these in and welcome them into my home, and I've just been loving them. I knew that I loved them aesthetically, like I love the look of them. The fluting on the sides is so gorgeous. The travertine tabletop, I just absolutely love it. But the more that I've had them in the space and gotten used to them, I just want to share that they're such good quality. They're so strong and sturdy, like even just the weight of them alone, you can tell they're really good quality. But what I love the most is that this surface is super durable. So I do try to use coasters as much as possible just to not damage the travertine stone. But I notice if I forget to put a coaster down, like this doesn't really stain and it's pretty low maintenance. So even just like cleaning wise, I find that I don't have to really dust this as much. Like my wood table, I really had to dust it a lot and wipe it down. These are so low maintenance as far as cleaning, so I really, really love them and had to recommend them. Next, we have another fairly new furniture piece. I wanted to recommend this beautiful Target stool. It is from the Threshold with Studio McGee collection, and I just love that it's got this like nice fabric with a wooden base. I think that's super pretty and when I tell you I get compliments on this every time someone new comes into my home or even when I have friends who have been into my apartment before but they see this since it's new they absolutely love it it's so comfy because it is this like fabric my other bench stool thing that I had here before was like rattan cane so it definitely wasn't as comfortable and this is just so much nicer to sit on or rest your legs on it's just so so good I absolutely love it and definitely recommend we are heading over to my bedroom for my next recommendation I wanted to share with you my canopy humidifier it's currently running I think let's see I just shut her off so that I can talk about it. But but for a while now, I was coughing so much at nighttime. Like I would wake up with a sore throat because I was coughing so much. And I think it was just like the dust in the air, the dry air quality, it just wasn't good for me. So, so many people had recommended that I get a humidifier and I was doing my research to find the best one and Canopy came up time and time again. So this is a Canopy humidifier. It also comes with, or you can opt to get the essential oils. So there's different scents. There's vanilla, bergamot, and what is this one? Cinnamon. I'm currently using the Herbal Musk fragrance, and it's so, so good. So the way you do it is you just apply some drops to this little stone. There's a stone for each essential oil. And then you put it here and when it like blows out the air, you can really smell it. It's almost like a diffuser and a humidifier in one. So I really love that. It's been working so well ever since I got this. I have not coughed at night. It's just, it's been like a miracle worker, honestly. And I've already noticed such a difference. So that is definitely a favorite of mine recently. I had to share it once more on my channel and I hope you guys love it as well. I have another appliance out here. As you guys know, I recently got this Roomba. It was gifted to me from my grandmother, and it's been so, so good. Kind of have to vacuum a little bit right now, but what I love about this is that it's just like a no-brainer. It does the work for you. If you're not feeling up for it, you just wanna sit down, watch TV, or read a book. You can just have this running in the background. I'll insert a clip of it kind of doing its thing because it just sucks everything up. It's pretty much self-cleaning also, like when you attach it to the base, it cleans itself on its own. You just have to like empty out 
the trash from the base and when you download the app you can kind of get it to learn your space so that it doesn't like bump into stuff so much because that's I think the original issue I was having with it was it figuring out my space since I had only used it like one or two times so definitely get the app if you're gonna purchase a Roomba but I really love it I was considering getting a Dyson at one point because it was like all the rage everyone was using it and like we all know Dyson has a good name for a good reason but honestly when I thought about vacuuming I just felt like hmm if I could have something vacuumed for me, then why not? And lucky enough for me, my grandma didn't want hers, so she gave it to me. I've absolutely loved it. For her, she said it was like more hassle than it was worth, but I have had no trouble with it at all, and I really, 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 really like it. And we are back in my room for the last kind of like home item. I want to share with you these organizers that I keep in my wardrobe here. So as you can see on the bottom shelf, I had purchased this 12 pack of shoe organizers. I didn't build all of them because they wouldn't fit, like I couldn't fit another row of them. So I just left nine of them here, but they've been so good. Initially when I was building them with you on my channel like a few months ago, I wasn't sure about the quality because they were kind of like flimsy at first, but once I built them and put them in here, they've literally been so good. I haven't had any issues. They're easy to open, take my shoes out and put them back. And because they're clear, I can see all of my shoes, so it makes it really easy in the mornings when I just want to grab my shoes and go. I know exactly where to look, so I really, really love them. I love how they look aesthetically. Instead of like all these shoes here, this looks so much better. So ideally, I would do this with all of my shoes, and I think that's going to be my plan eventually. I just currently don't have the space for it, so I'm trying to figure that out, but... I absolutely love these. I will have them linked down below in the description box. Next, let's talk about accessories, beauty items, all of that goodness. We are currently in my entryway area because I've been keeping my favorite perfume here. This is like the last step that I do before I leave. So I just like to have it super accessible right on my entryway dresser. And this is Amo by Ferragamo. It is so delicious. I have to smell it so I can describe it. It just has like such a sweet and refreshing scent to it. I don't know how to really explain it, but it's like vanilla with bergamot. I wish I knew the undertones to this. It's just so good. It lasts a really long time. I wear this to the gym. I wear this throughout the day for work. I love it. I think it's perfect for like day or night, but it's definitely more of a sweet scent. Um, Really nice for date night, I think so so good i actually found this because i was in bloomingdale's with my mom and my sister one day and they were giving out a bunch of fragrance samples so i was using this for like a week and i was like oh my gosh this is so good and it turns out my mom had the same one and she had already purchased <laughs> the actual big bottle so then i was like okay i'm gonna purchase it too i don't know if that like says anything about it that like your mom could wear it but also you could wear it it's i feel like it's definitely like a young scent i wouldn't say that it's like old i don't know how to phrase that but if you know what i mean it's still youthful it's still refreshing definitely delicate and sweet and florally the next accessory or beauty item that i want to share with you is actually something i currently have on these earrings they're from target believe it or not but they're so gorgeous i love that they're not like a super large hoop they are super nice and a bit understated but they're also thick so like they do kind of give you that statement. And I love it with my hair pulled back like this. I just think it looks so beautiful. You can also see these when I have my curly hair down, which I like, because sometimes when I wear hoops, you can't see them when I have my hair down because they're so thin. So because these are a little thicker, you can really see them with my hair pulled back or down. And I just think they are so gorgeous. So these were like eight bucks or something from Target, like $7.99, I think to be exact. And they're so good. While I'm here, I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking with my hands and it's because I've been loving my nail polish recently. <laughs> so let me pick up the current color. It's an Essie shade. I keep my nail polishes just in this TV stand. <laughs> I don't know if that's very practical, but that's what I do. So it is Caught in the Rain by Essie, and it's this beautiful, like blue shade. I think this would look gorgeous if you have blue eyes. I don't, obviously, but I think this would really just bring out your eye color. 
I love it. So beautiful. It's a standard SC shade. It's not like a gel or anything. But if you do your own at-home manicures, then this is a really nice color to use. Caught in the Rain by Essie. The next beauty items are in my bathroom. First, I wanted to talk about this bristle brush that I got from Amazon. As you can see, there are two sides to it. So this has kind of a softer side, and then we have a more rough side, if you can hear that. I actually used this brush this morning to slick down my hair, and I don't know if you can tell, but I have a lot of hair and it's very thick. So anything that can kind of tame this mane is a winner in my book. So this brush has been so good. I also love that it does have that softer side just in case you wanna be more gentle with your hair. It's very small also, so it's really portable. I pack this in my backpack all the time if I wanna like fix up any flyaways and things like that. I just think this is such a good brush. So that's another recommendation of mine. Another beauty item that I've been loving, I store in here. It is the Kapari Sunshield Body Glow SPF 50. So as it reads, it is a sunscreen, but it's also a body glow. So do you see that gorgeous shimmer? I'm just gonna pump some so you can see. I went ahead and applied it right here to my palm. It is so shimmery and beautiful. Obviously you would wanna blend it a bit more than I did, but it gives you a super nice summery glow for when you're tanning, but it also is protective. So I love that so much and the smell, you guys. It smells like beachy coconut. I'm such a coconut girly, so if you like the fragrance of coconut, I think this is definitely for you. It's so delicious. It just, it smells like summer, you know? Like exactly how you'd wanna smell in the summer, that's what this does. So definitely pick this up if you're looking to glow and smell good this summer. And then I also wanted to share these little wrist towels. Mine came in a pack of three different colors and I think there are other options for colors but I chose like the more neutral tones so as you can see you just put them on your wrist like this and it's good for when you're like washing your face and you don't want the water to trickle down your arm this just kind of creates a barrier and stops the water from getting past it so I really love these I also love that if one is still drying I could always use the other two and these have worked like a charm. I honestly was like opposed to them for a while because I was like, why am I paying for this? When I could just use a regular towel, but this just prevents the water, whereas the towel, you would have to use it after, and I hate that wet feeling, so <laughs> I'm definitely a big fan of these, and I do recommend them. All right, I think we've finished with beauty now. Let's go ahead and talk about shoes and clothing items. I could not do this favorites video without an honorable mention for my new favorite workout shoes. <laughs> these are the Nike Metcon Free 4s. They do currently have a new one available. The fives are out now, but I really like the fours. I don't know why. They're a flexible shoe. They're good for like strength training, but also cardio. So they're like multi-purpose. They are super lightweight and airy. So like you don't have to worry about that while you're working out. I just love them. These are actually my second pair. The first one I got were these black ones and they just go with every outfit. So I love them. Love them so much, I had to buy them again. Definitely the perfect shoe for a workout. And I've been doing workouts like six times a week and these are my go-tos every time. So can't go wrong with these. And another shoe that I recently purchased that I've just been loving are these Converse. They are platform Converse in the high top style. And I seriously don't purchase Converse anymore unless they're platform. I just love the look of them. I think they're so cute. This color just really spoke to me. It's like this mauve pink color. Super cute and girly. I actually already have these in white. I'll show you those too. But I've worn them to filth. Like, they are super dirty. As you can see, they're like super dirty. And I tried to wash them and the shoelaces got all knotty and crazy so i still wear these still love them i've got to purchase new shoelaces for them and i think they'll be fine honestly but i'm so glad to have another colorway and i think these would be super cute to wear with dresses i love the look of sneakers and dresses together and since they're in this like really nice mauvey pink color i think they would look nice with dresses so that's another new favorite shoe of mine had to share them again as I previously mentioned, I've been working out a lot lately, so we're moving on to workout clothes. Let's talk leggings. <laughs> 
As you can see, I have so many pairs of these leggings. I did start with the Arola leggings, but I will say they're a little thick, especially for summer, they're kind of hot. So I switched to CRZ Yoga. They're a brand on Amazon, and I have a lot of their like super long pants that are, you know, full length. And then recently I purchased some Capri leggings from them. So these are like mid-length. And then I love them so much that I had to get their shorts as well. So these are like a six inch short. They have a nice pocket too if you wanna carry your phone around while you're working out. I bought these in pink. I also got them in brown recently. This is the Butterlux line, which is super thin, um, but I actually prefer the Naked line, which kind of has a little bit extra thickness. It just hugs you in all the right places. As you can see, I haven't worn these yet. I've just been buying and buying because I love them so much. So I also have this blue pair, super cute. And I just have so many of these, honestly. Like I work out six to seven times a week. So I just need a pair for each day of the week. <laughs> and now I have more than enough, but I'm still gonna buy them because I just love all the different colorways. They also have matching little tops. So this one comes with like a built-in sports bra, which I love. I also have the matching top for these brown ones. So again, this one has a little sports bra built into it. I haven't worn it yet, but I love that you can purchase sets. Something I've been taking a lot of pride in lately is just the way that I show up to the gym and like show up to work out. I used to be one of those people who like really didn't care. I would throw on like a huge t-shirt with like sweatpants, sneakers and call it a day and just like go to the gym. But ever since I started like group workout training, I've been really just like wanting to show up for myself in every way. So part of that is looking good for the gym. And when you look good, you feel good. It's just like, it's one of those things that like it's building confidence from the outside in. So investing in my gym wear has been a priority for me. And these pieces are honestly so affordable. Like the leggings, I believe run for about $24 and the workout tops, I want to say like 20-ish dollars or so on Amazon. You really can't go wrong. And like I said, they have an incredible assortment and variety of colors. Plus you can like mix and match, which is really nice. So that has definitely been something I've been loving lately. All right, you guys, we are getting through these pretty quickly. So that's awesome. I think I just have two more things to share with you and they're pretty random, but I wanted to show you just in case it's something you're interested in. The first one being this little OctoBuddy attachment for your phone case. So I just placed it on a regular black case that I can like interchange with whatever phone case that I have at the moment. And this is basically like a suction cup for your phone. So if you wanna do like some selfies or if you wanna just like take a look at yourself quickly on your phone but you're out and about, you can stick this to most surfaces and do a little picture. So I'll show you how that works. Here we have my phone case. This is a mirror by the way. You just stick it on there and your phone is meant to be in here and you can literally do like pictures, you can do a video if you need to. It's so sticky and it's incredible, honestly. Like I have to like pull it off sometimes because it has such good hold and grip. And you would be surprised, but this little thing could even hold an iPad. I'm not sure about like a MacBook or like a full computer, but it's really strong. It might look really small, but it definitely has a nice strong hold to it. Definitely recommend I picked this up on Amazon and it came super quickly. And then the last random little item I have in my cupboard here, I wanna share with you these mason jar lids. So I have these in the regular size, but I also have the larger one. As you can see, they're just this like cute little lid pairing and I want to show you I have so many mason jars and these are just really great if you want to like take the mason jar on the go you just screw them on just like that good to go I went ahead and screwed on some more so these are the same size and as you can see they fit this small jar but they also fit like this bigger mason jar which I love and then the larger lid goes on this one and I just think they look so cute. I'm happy that I can really like bring yogurts or pack oatmeal for the morning and just bring it to work. I use these seriously every day. And they also are big enough for 
this other really large jar. I brought it over to my countertop for a size comparison. Sorry, I have my chia pudding in here. It looks kind of gross, but I promise you it tastes delicious. Anyway, as you can see, the large lid fits both of these jars, so it's kind of amazing how like universal they are. I absolutely love them. Like I said, they come in two different sizes. They fit all my jars perfectly and it just makes it so that I can bring my breakfast with me. I don't have to worry about like rushing to eat at home. It's so easy and convenient and one of my favorites. Oh, I almost forgot since we're talking about like food storage and all that, I have two little snacks that I wanna share with you as a bit of a bonus. Here in my pantry, I love these strawberry and jalapeno crisps from Trader Joe's. These are a seasonal item that only comes out in the summertime. They usually have their like fig and olive crisps and their raisin rosemary ones. But my absolute favorite are the strawberry and jalapeno ones. They are so good. They're like the perfect blend of sweet and spicy. Really good with cream cheese or any other cheeses. I just love to put these on a charcuterie board and I think they are the perfect added touch. One more thing is these kind caramel, almond, and sea salt bars. I did not know that you could get kind bars from Trader Joe's. So I saw them there the other day and I was like, ooh, this sounds nice. Specifically this flavor I'm obsessed with, caramel, almond, and sea salt. It tastes exactly like it sounds. Super, super good. It's got some protein in it. It's the perfect on-the-go snack. If you have a Trader Joe's nearby, pick these up, they are $1.50. And that officially completes this favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please let me know in the comments if you end up buying anything that I suggested. I'm really curious what stood out to you all, so definitely let me know. Thank you so much for watching this one. I will be back next week with our regularly scheduled weekly vlogs. So I will see you then, bye.